Hello, my name is Sembe Ali. I'm the country lead for the Tobacco Control Data Initiative. And I'm here to speak with Dr. Adedeji Adeniron, who is the Director of Research at the Center for Studies for Economics of Africa. Dr. Deji, can you please introduce yourself? Thank you. Um, Sembe, um, we are happy to welcome you to CCECC, Center for Studies of Economics of Africa. And my name is Adedeji Adeniron. I'm the director of research at the, at the center. Um, CC is an institution, a think tank uh, devoted to understanding development issues in Africa. And we have many core areas from macro economic issues to micro to also more broader development issues. Dr. Deji, can you please tell us about your background in tobacco control and how you got interested in this work? Um, in 2017, uh, these institutions, we decided to develop capacity around tobacco control issues and um, through the support of African Capacity uh, Building Foundation, we went for training and had this kind of um, uh, equipment tools to do a lot of research. Almost every year we find that there is more and more that research can do. And with the research we have done, we've seen a lot of um, key interests. So I, I think um, tobacco control discussion has moved from mere uh, speculation, anecdotal evidence, to kind of concrete, data-driven, evidence-based uh, kind of um, uh, research and policy making. It has evolved with Nigeria, and I think that's one of the things that um, uh, when you look back in terms of the journey, both through being the, uh, having the capacity, having the tools, and having the uh, uh, environment to do the research, you have this fulfilling kind of mindset that, um, yes, um, we have added something. You make an impact. Yes. Um, so, Dr. Deji, you've seen the site from the early stage in site, um, and it's how we moved to the pre production site, and now we're about to launch the final version of the, of, of the dashboard. Um, what do you think about what, you, what you've seen so far? I think it's wonderful. Um, personally, I'm envious. <laughs> I would have wished I would be the one that um, is doing this. One of the things I like about the site is it's interactive. It's something that you go into. You can answer your research question as a researcher directly to say, okay, how smoking incidents between this group and this group, uh, smoking um, incidents across the region. I mean, it's something you want, you are really keen on knowing, and the, the answer is right there when, 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 you, when you interact with it. So, we just want something data information that speaks to our work. And I think that uh, Dashboard has done that in a very, very good way. So, I, I, I've seen it evolution from idea to, to this very wonderful tool. What I want to see is um, not just the tools, but change in terms of what do we want these two um, to, 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 to do for us as advocate, as policy makers, what do we want to take out of this? Uh, and I think that's what we really, really want to see. And um, in whatever ways we, we as um, institution can support that, we will ensure um, that being. I mean, making sure that this moves from not just a tool, but to an instrument for lasting change is critical. But I mean, as people in, in, in the tobacco industry have said, um, we've gone a long way in terms of being neglected to be our Congress. And um, the partnership that um, Development Gateway has even solidified uh, 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 that in terms of making it more viable. Than it used to be. I think it's, it's wonderful. It's something that um, I think um, you want to see in many other sectors as uh, LNG. Um, Dr. Deji, how do you, as an organization at CC, envision that you're going to be using this dashboard in your current work? Okay, so um, in a number of ways. So, one directly is to the data that's um, more, it will be like, like the first uh, point of uh, entry. When we, when we think about data that we need to talk about. Um, so it, it, it's one entry point. So we do a lot of research 
in many areas, including um, tobacco research. And when we want to talk about data, uh, to whether to write a proposal, to write a blog article, to write a research report or whatever. I think it, it's going to be like a um, first entry point for us mm -hmm. to see what data do we have, what message can we receive directly from. I think it's, it's going to be the first entry point. One of the things we are actually thinking of as an institution is also like if we can partner um, using these tools, I, I think uh, we, we, we already have a thought in place in, in that regard. To say, okay, let's use these tools with our research, uh, develop a deck around it. Let's not just use it to speak to policymakers in our region. Let's take it to the regions. So our, our, our thinking is most of now when we go to region uh, to speak, to tell them about what is going on, one of the things we'll present to them is these tools. So, oh, these are the tools you can use to really do something great in terms of um, uh, policy, in terms of understanding the environment better, and you know, and also in terms of understanding, because one of the dashboards about um, uh, industry interference, I think is a very good piece, because um, it tells um, policymakers what in industry interference really, really means. Sometimes it doesn't come directly. But it's like giving you something to take back something. So I think in a way it, it enables them to think better in terms of what this means. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes um, when we need information, we just search online. Google, when you say we put this on Google, it's mm -hmm. millions of entries. Mm -hmm. You don't know where to start. And I think the starting point to many things will be dashboard. You've given us a lot of information on how you plan to use the dashboard and how you envision using the dashboard as an organization. Um, and I'm just curious, prior to having the dashboard, where did you get information and the data to do your work in tobacco control? We had uh, the gaps before. It's about reading the lines, reading the lips, <laughs> rather, than, um, rather than knowing whether there is anything out there. So it's about what has been looking at what are the recent research being done across the globe. You don't know where to find them, but you just use Google. Um, if you're not a very good researcher, you just talk with nothing. Um, so it, 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 it's like a um, trial and error process. Um, also, we have partners um, in Argentina, um, HiCS. We've been working together. So most times, sometimes we, we, we were like, okay, what are the priority issues that we can model with the two things so far worked on together? So that's one uh, another area where we, we look at what to do. We look at the institutions doing tobacco stuff, what are they doing? Can we can we can we also scale up our own work in that area? So that's like um, how we have been doing this work. Um, but with the tools, uh, I think it makes it more concrete. But what I also want to suggest, if I might have a point to the fact that it has to be something that is dynamic, it is something that lives. Um, so for example, priorities, maybe we need to say, okay, do we need to be measuring these priorities every two years to see what has changed, what is going on. And updating the data is, a, is, is another issue. But also, we need to build a community around because um, if it's not, uh, if, if we don't build a community, it's also going to, um, it, it might not be, uh, get to where we need it to be. So that, that we need to do. And um, yeah, I mean, that's what I would say. That's fun. Yeah, that's really great. And I'm really glad that you, you brought that up because that's something that is really, really important to us at Development Gateway. We um, care that the information that we're putting on our dashboards are dy dynamic enough to reflect what is the current um, status of data and information in the in the sector at the moment. And so you'd find even for you, if you remember that the initial drafts you'd look like, you'd looked at for some of the themes on the dashboard have changed really drastically from what that looked like 
and what we currently have and that's because we're taking into consideration the back and forth and the fine-tuning iteration process that goes into the work um, that we do so that it reflects what is really relevant right now as opposed to what can be updated in two to three months if we're not checking so thank you for noticing that this is something that we also really care about